I just wanted to uh, put a little video in. I'm uh, at uh, the Atlanta airport. I've been here. I'm really sleepy. I've been here since like 7 this morning. And I'll be here till like 10.30 p.m. Uh, it's a long layover. I am on my way to Tanzania, Africa. I have another stop. I will be stopping in uh, Amsterdam. I leave here 10.30, long ride in the plane to Amsterdam. Now I have a layover there all day tomorrow pretty much. And then from that point, I will be on my way into Tanzania, Africa. I will be there probably around, I believe, 7, no, 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 uh, around 10 p.m. on Wednesday. Um, yeah, it's really tiresome. It's a, uh, uh, wow, I, these layovers, um, my ticket, I got a good deal on it, but um, wow, I don't know if I could do these type of layovers anymore. Um, I just have to pay a lot more money for a better flight. But anyway, nevertheless, um, this is something that I've been wanting to do pretty much most of my adult life. I've been wanting to, I've been wanting to go to Africa, the land from which we are from as a people. Um, we are Africans, and uh, so you know why not uh, go to the place where you are from? Um, I think everybody should if you get the opportunity to do it. Um, so uh, I went to Europe some years ago, and uh, you know I was showing around with the we went to Paris, the Netherlands, um, Amsterdam. Because once it's Frankfurt, Germany, once we got over there, we were able to drive to the different countries. But anyway, um, but nevertheless, that cannot hold weight to me actually going to my own homeland, Africa. And um, so, yeah, it's, this is something right here. This is big time for me. Um, I know I'm squinting my eyes because they're like, they're like, they're hurting right now because I've been up for like, um, I guess, a whole day and some. I haven't been asleep more than 24 hours, I believe. So, I mean, you know, not a deep sleep, so I'm pretty tired. Um, anyway, so I will definitely, you know, be posting and let people see how it is. I'm gonna hit the beach. Um, and I uh, heard it's a very beautiful beach. I've seen it um, on uh, just looking at uh, Looking at it on videos, you know, the beaches are very beautiful over there in Tanzania. So, Tanzania, Africa. So, yeah, I want to go to see for myself and put my foot in it. You know, but I want to thank Almighty Yahweh for giving me the opportunity to be able to do this. Um, you know, I'm in my 50s. And uh, so, I, wish, I wanted to do it earlier, but that's fine. You know, Yahweh get us to do it, we do it. What's up, cuz? Hey, cuz. Um, hope all is well with you, brother. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Ah, the motherland is nice. You been there, cuz? You been there? Okay, you ain't even tell me about it. Yeah. So, um, anyway, if you could look around, I'm going to show y'all where I'm down in the land uh, in the airport. Check it out. Yeah, I'm down in Atlanta. And the airport still waiting. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, cause we're, we're part of. Did you go? What part? Um, did you go to? Where? Where'd you go? Um, what part of Africa? If you, if you're still here. Um. Anyway, I would like to also go to Ghana before. When I get the chance, I would like to go to Ghana. And um, but this time I chose, the, you know, I, it was on my spirit to go to Tanzania. So you know, I I, I truly believe that somewhere down the line, some of my, my, all of us, our bloodline is going to come from from the land. But I believe, you know, mine's come from that that that, that region. Somebody in my in my bloodline, my family. 
you know, was there, you know. But we all come from um, the land over there, Northeast Africa, to all of us that are in, that are in the U.S. and uh, spread in the, in the islands uh, like uh, Jamaica and uh, all of us who was uh, all up in uh, United Kingdom, they were spreading the slave trade. We all, all of us were really from North, Northern Africa. Um, you know, so we all, we're from that. We're, we're from the land of Israel. And um, people don't really want to acknowledge it, but I know it. Some of us, some of us know it. Anyway, yeah, so um, I just uh, want to post this video. And uh, just making a little record of my travels. This this uh, this this, uh, this walk, this venture. I don't think that this is going to be a, uh, a one-time thing, y'all. Will and hopefully it'll be many many times that uh, I go to the motherland. That I go 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 to our home. That's just, that's that is our home. Yeah. So we were stolen. Our ancestors were stolen. So that's our home. Had they not been stolen, that's where we would have been. So, um, yeah. yeah. Yep, so, uh, Kazo, I'm going to holler at you. And, uh, hey, man, that football season getting ready to start up. You, you ready to turn to the Ravens yet? You know, come on over. Come on over. We, we definitely got room for you, brother. So, anyway, yeah, I will uh, check back with y'all periodically um, I'm gonna um, when I get to probably Amsterdam I'll probably be doing another live and uh, then definitely when I get you know if I when I get there I'm gonna do something see if I can do something like if the phone let me do it or whatever when I get over there um, or if not I'll just go ahead and uh, I'll just video it and then I'll upload it yeah alrighty so uh, who's it? Mark, that's my man right there, my brother. Shalom, brother. Yeah, uh, who else I got here? Yeah, shalom, brother. It's, um, brother, I'm tired, man. I am so sleepy. <laughs> Bro, I'm tired. I'm beat. I need some sleep. These lay It's the layover, man. I can't, this is brutal. You know, layovers are brutal if, if, it's, if, it's, if it's real long. Yeah, all is well. Sister Clementina, good to, good to hear from you, sister. Yeah, so, um, yeah. So how's, every, how's everything going, uh, Sister Clementina? Brother Mark, all is going well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Since Clementine, look, I'm gonna show you I'm in the airport. I don't know if you saw it. I don't know if you uh, saw it earlier. I had switched the camera around. But I'm still I'm still in Atlanta. I am still in Atlanta. I, I flew down here, I got here seven something this morning. I'm still here. Oh, my cousin, hey, Byron. See you here, my cousin Byron's here. Okay, I was gonna sign out, but I'm getting family, I'm getting people up, okay. Yeah. But um, anyway, anyway, um, man, I really, I'm excited. I really don't know how to feel. I'm like, like, wow, this is just gonna be amazing. Sister Clementina, she know all about it because she had first hand, you know, she, she grew up there, I believe, you know, so she grew up grew up so at least had some living on the motherland. So she she got it, you know. It's good. Yeah. Um let's see. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, so cuz what are you up to? Byron, what you what you up to? Um, yeah, but look, when we look around again.
I'm so out of the loop. I am so out of the loop. It's pretty bad. I'm so out of the loop. I got in the airport. I'm reading. I'm looking at these tickets and stuff, and I'm like, this ain't telling me nothing. Where am I supposed to go? go? What am I supposed to do? I'm talking about after the first flight. I was like, man, I was all over the place. Just walking back and forth, people being nasty towards you. They real mean, too, man. This is... Just ask a person a question. They work in the airport. You working in the airport and everything. That's your job. People ask. I go to the help desk, and they getting smart with me, being nasty towards me. I took a, I took a real butt whipping. I mean, tongue lashings. You know, repeatedly, man. I just felt like, like a, like a child. Like it was bad. Like I was being bad by ask, just asking questions. You know, like they took my own. I had a, uh, I had two. I had a two carry ons. Well, I guess the plane must have got uh, full where they couldn't put my um, car my second carry on. So they said, "Oh, we you, you we gonna just you can just pick this up when you get to Atlanta." And so when I got to Atlanta, I, I was like, "Well, where my bags?" Well, I, I I didn't see nothing on the ticket they gave me to tell me where my bag was. It just wasn't. I didn't see. I couldn't see it. So I was walking around trying to find out. It took me forever asking people questions. They wouldn't even give me a direct answer. They were just being mean. And uh, then when I got finally got to where my bag was, um, they had put it up. She said, you, your pl uh, flight was uh, done like it was like two hours ago. I'm like, because I've been walking around looking for my bag, you know? And um, I was like, well, tell me how to look at this uh, this ticket to tell where I, how, why I should have been able to figure this out. And um, she still ain't give me a, a, a good answer. She still didn't give me a good answer because they just so mean. They just mean. People just mean, man. They work in service and everything, and they just nasty. I, I couldn't be like that. You know, it's like you can make somebody day. You really can make somebody day just, you know, they under stress. You know, everybody don't travel all the time. You know, everybody just don't travel all the time. So you're not going to know all this stuff if you don't travel all the time. And... They, they make you feel embarrassed by just asking a question. I was like, damn, man, I walked some of that. I walked so much because I was like, didn't want to ask a question again. Just, you know, so just got to pray, man, for how people are, man. They just nasty. So anyway, I did. I got my bag. The lady gave me my bag. And, um, I hope I don't have to ask no more questions. I mean, I mean, they feel like they're going to slap me for just asking them. And they working. And you working at the, at the help booth. And then another thing, oh, I want to tell y'all, is this COVID thing, man, it 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 then ripped things to pieces. It is so, it's a headache. I had to get, I done got two COVID tests with back to back, and now, um, and all this money, and then I'm gonna have to get another one too, because you get 72 hours to reach your destin, to reach the final destination. I got 72 hours. I'm not going to be there to get there in 72 hours with those layovers. And it's 72 hours from when you give the sample. So that means they already let me know. I had to fill out a form online that when I and pay for it before I got there. And so that means when I reach Tanzania, I got to take another COVID test. So that'll be three tests within maybe four days. I got to take another one. I had to pay for it. What's crazy about it, the vaccine is free. But yet you got to pay for the test. They're giving away free vaccines, but you got to pay for a test. What'd that tell you right there? Come on, somebody somebody talk to me. So anyway, all that, I just spent the money. But anyway, yeah, it, it's all messed up, man. You gotta, you know, keep going uh, here. You gotta go here and show your paperwork for 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 the uh, the vaccine. You, you know, stay sticking things up your nose. You know, that stuff hurt. I mean, I, it's, I ain't going to say it hurt, but it's so uncomfortable. It's just uncomfortable. You know, they didn't mess this, they didn't mess this planet up, man. It's bad. So, just got to pray, man. We just got to pray to Yahweh. Yahweh just, you know, ride us through. So, yeah. I mean, that uh, we he's able to override a lot of this foolishness they did. It's bad. You know, you, your life has changed, and it ain't going back. It's changed. It is hard. Yeah, so, anyway, um, I will 
my 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 my, my uh, I ain't, I'm not gonna reveal my main goal of why I'm really going. Not now, but if if you stay tuned, you'll I'll I'll, I'll, I'll tell people why I'm really going. But I'm I'm not gonna reveal it right now, but um yeah, it's something big that I want to do and everything. Yeah, I wanna uh, definitely you know keep keep the motherland as a part of my plan. You know, yeah. So anyway, yeah. So I will be checking in again. Um, let's say probably somewhere around maybe in the morning tomorrow sometime or afternoon. I will be in Amsterdam, but I'm not gonna leave. I'm gonna be in Amsterdam for. I think I gotta sit in that in that. Uh, I got to be in Amsterdam sitting in the way over uh, for like 14 hours or something like that. A layover for like 14 hours, I think. I believe it's like 14 hours. So it's another brutal one. I learned on this one. Just pay a lot for your ticket. My ticket was only a round trip. It was only $1,030 or something, which was unbelievable. I was like, that's great. But then I found, now I'm finding out like, oh, I mean, you better off just going on and paying more money. I mean, because you're still losing days, you know, by just losing a whole day so um yeah so while i'm in amsterdam about probably in the daytime somewhere in the morning or afternoon i'll see i'm a, I, I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna post up and see i've been to amsterdam once that like i said before and everything so i'm not leaving the airport i'm just gonna be in the airport like i'm not leaving i don't care what the layover is with covid and all that stupid stuff i'm just gonna stay right in the airport and just tough it out Amsterdam, I already seen how it was. I already been over there before years ago. And, um, you know, we went sightseeing and all that stuff. So I, I, I wasn't, I'm, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed by that, you know. So it ain't the motherland anyway. It ain't our land. So, you know, that's, it was nice to, you know, see it. But that's, that, that, that was okay for me. It wasn't nothing that I was really, you know, it was nice to have done it. But that's, that's not going to be a, a, I would say, a monumental thing to me you know yeah but this will be a monumental thing just to because our ancestors was taken off the land and I would like to get back to that land for at least my ancestors like like they couldn't make it back they couldn't make it back but I want to be the one to say I made it back for you I made it back for you and I think we all should you do that this is my opinion I think each person when they get the chance think about your ancestors when they were snatched from their families and they were not in no jungles and like no beasts. No, they were just like we were. We are now. They were families, married. Some of them may have been in college. Different things, daughters, or sons. You know, not all of them, but they were taken and um, stolen and, and and never made it. I mean, it was millions of them. And 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 this thing being snatched and never being able to get back to your home and see your family. And you prayed and you cried throughout the nights and 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 uh, you died. You died and never made it back. But yet you you had children and 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 here we're the children now that are living. We're we're the children now that are living, and so you can make it back for your ancestor. You can make it back, make it back because they're bloodline. You are their bloodline. You know the blood is always alive. The blood is the is is the life of a thing. So so they they're alive in you. You know your their blood is in you. So make it back for them. You know if you can. You know, we gonna honor Yahweh. We not gonna honor our ancestors. We not gonna pray to our ancestors. That's not where I'm going because we don't do that. They, they, you know, they're gone on. But at the end of the day, their DNA is in you. They, you know, so yeah, make it back for them. You know, that's, that's that's just how I see it. That's just my opinion. Yep. But anyway, I am going to sign off, family. And I, again, I'll, I'll get back. I'll get back um, tomorrow. All right. Shalom.